In Backup Exec 21, I have the option to create a synthetic backup, just as we do in previous versions. So I'm highlighting my server, File Server 1. I'm going up to Backup and hitting the drop-down and choosing to create a synthetic backup. Now, when I go to create a synthetic backup, it looks a little different than a traditional backup. And that is because it allows me to create a full backup, an incremental backup, and then it ties it all together in a synthetic full backup, which I'll explain in a little more detail. I'm going to go to Edit on my selections, and I'm going to make sure that only the C drive is checked. I don't want to check my backup drive. So if you have your backup drive showing up because you're using a local disk, just make sure you don't attempt to back up the backup drive. Otherwise, you will end up using up a lot of space. Next thing we want to do is go to where it says Edit on the right-hand side, and then we see several different jobs. So we see the first one is the full job, which is going to run every Sunday, a month at a time. Then every single day after that, before the next full job runs, we see it's going to run an incremental. So an incremental is anything that's changed since that last full job. And then finally, it's going to create this synthetic full backup, and it's going to do that every Saturday night. So what that means is it's going to take the full backup, and it's going to take all the incremental changes from the incremental backups that have happened since that last full backup and create the most up-to-date full backup, combining them all together. So if on Sunday, let's say after the synthetic backup finish, finishes running, you would like to restore from your C drive, you can do that without having to choose all the individual incremental jobs. You can just choose the synthetic backup from which to restore. So it saves a lot of time, saves a lot of confusion, makes sure that you don't end up uh, missing out on any of that data. You do have other options such as which storage to pick, network cards, notifications, test run, verify, all the same types of things that you would normally see when you run a normal backup. However, it's going to be running this full backup for synthetic on Saturday, which is unlike any other type of backup. You can edit any of these if you'd like to, such as the scheduled date and time and how often each of these different backups are set to run. When you have it set the way you want, all you got to do is click OK. And then the first Sunday of each month, it's going to start that full backup and then run through the scheduled incrementals and synthetic backups on Saturday night. If I double click on the server and expand it, I can see my full backup, my incremental backup, and my synthetic backup, and when they're all scheduled to run. So that's how and why you would create a synthetic backup in Veritas Backup Exec version 21.